Right then, this is Drill Milky Punch. Don't worry, it's not a dodgy Japanese porn game or anything. This is, however, one of my favourite games ever made, ever. Um, it's an old Japanese PC indie game which is pretty hard to get hold of. I had to order this through a specialist website. Uh, those girls there, they may not look like much. In fact, they just look like normal school girls. But they put Captain Falcon to shame. What do I mean? Ready? Well, you're about to see right now. Go. Right then, so we just get dumped into the game and it immediately looks like we're playing a, just another standard shoot 'em up. Well, actually you're wrong. Get ready. Drill Milky Punch! Christ, my Falcon sucks. So yeah, the object isn't to actually shoot enemies as such, it's to punch enemies into other enemies. Your little schoolgirl can punch someone so hard that potentially she can knock out HUNDREDS of people with one punch. Now you may be thinking, yeah, but Captain Falcon, he's so awesome, he's a Nintendo gadget. <laughs> Listen, man, in Smash Brothers, he can only knock out three, maybe six midgets at a time if you, like, you know, if everyone's playing as his fucking ice climber guys. But no, this girl, she can fucking knock the fuck out at least 30 characters with a regular punch. And she charges up her punch, she can beat the shit out of everyone in the entire screen. Um, as you punch someone, if they fly into another character, they fall down. If you manage to punch the, another enemy into the side of the screen, they'll just bounce off the side of the screen and just keep hitting more enemies. In fact, you can punch enemies so hard as they're hitting the side of the screen, that they actually throw up their lunch and you know you can actually collect their lunch and eat it for points of course if you're too lazy to actually walk over there and get the lunch yourselves you can actually punch an enemy to get the lunch for you there you go problem solved in fact I use that tactic a lot to get a good high score because as you've noticed your character's kind of slow um, she's not the quickest of people and uh, yeah, it's actually more beneficial if you just punch an enemy into the food to collect it as opposed to going over there and collecting it yourself. Now, I would like to point out a couple of things. I'm actually playing this on the hard difficulty setting. There is a difficulty setting above this, but the reason why I picked hard is because I figured it would be the right balance between difficulty and me being able to show you a lot of the stuff this game has to offer, because this game's quite wacky. Um, and it's a very well done game, I mean you've got thousands, well not thousands, but hundreds of enemies on screen at once. And, um, like, they're all very well animated, they're very well drawn and stuff. Um, the most annoying enemies, obviously, are the enemies that fire projectiles at you, because, yeah, you can punch enemies into the projectiles to, you know, stop the projectiles and stuff, but at the same time, it's kind of difficult to avoid projectiles when you're being surrounded by enemies and stuff. So you really, really have to think about your positioning really carefully. I mean, look at me there. I was dodging like a load of those bullets and those annoying potted plant things. And I am also had to avoid getting hit by the enemy as well. Of course, this game isn't really set into stages. You play until you die. Um, I've got it on three lives. You can have a maximum of five. You can also play this game five players, it's a very good laugh. Um, in fact, it was my first ever YouTube video that I uploaded onto this account. Um, yeah, but like... As you progress through the game, uh, they start throwing out more and more interesting enemies at you. Um, I mean, at one point you even get a, a, a school teacher in a rally car chasing after you. Um, I couldn't catch her any footage of that because I died before she, she actually appeared, unfortunately. But as you can see, that um, as I play the game, there are more and more people filling the screen. Um, and that's the fun about this game. It's very unique in the sense that, you know, well, yeah, you are surrounded by a ton of people, and yeah, there are people firing at you. It doesn't feel too cheap. You don't feel too underpowered. And about those secret characters, yes, there are actually secret characters that you can unlock in this game. That music that you're hearing signifies that there are some secret characters that, if I knock them both out together, um, 
I unlock them as playable characters. And they're actually really good characters, so I pretend, I basically try desperately not to knock one out before the other here. Hence the reason why I'm getting myself into a bit of trouble. Um, you see me getting completely butt hurt here because uh, I'm basically letting the enemies whack into me. I think I did knock those two out together, so hopefully the next time I play this I'll actually have them as playable characters. I did have all the characters unlocked on this game actually, but um, foolishly when I uh, set up my new computer I forgot to copy over the save file. So um, yeah, basically no extra characters for me I'm afraid, but it just means I have to play the game again. Oh no, I don't want to play this really enjoyable game. Yeah, and you'll notice now, whoa, okay that bitch with the blonde hair, she's fucking annoying, and look at that, I just knocked out like over a hundred people in one punch. Um, <laughs> it's crazy this game. So yeah, um, that's Drill Milky Punch basically, it's a very very fun game. Uh, you'll notice that basically I managed to kill t over 2,000 people that game. Pretty good going. Anyway guys, I'll catch you later, bye!